Hi. I've been playing around with Godot for the past couple days and I noticed that there are no tutorials out there on how to make these hit indicators that let you know which direction you've been shot from in 3D. I see this as a call to action, so let's create a new 3D scene and throw a floor, a character controller and two bean enemies in there. I won't cover how to make these because there are plenty great tutorials out there and I don't know what I'm talking about anyway, so let's keep moving. For demonstration purposes, I will make the indicator appear when we get close to the enemy instead of when we're being shot, but you can easily trigger this within your enemy's shooting function or something like that. Next we need to make the indicator itself. Create a scene with a control node as the root and select Rect as the anchor preset. Create a second control node as a child of the first and set its anchor preset to center. Name them something like full screen UI and screen center or something like that and add a node 2D as a child. This is what's gonna hold our damage indicator. You can add a texture here but since I like to use as little assets as possible I used a line to D node to draw this red arrow shape. Either way save the scene and add it to your player character. We now have an indicator but it only points forwards so let's pick an enemy to point it at. In the enemy script add signals for entering and exiting his personal space. All the signal needs to do is to call a function that we're gonna make and give itself when entering or null when exiting. Back in the player script create the function that we just referenced and store whatever we get in there as a variable. Great, now that we know which enemy damaged us, let's add a 3D node to our player and use the look at function to point it towards him. Lastly, set the rotation of your damage indicator's parent to the inverted Y rotation of the 3D node we just added and you should have a walking well, a walking nearby enemy direction indicator in this case, but you get the point. And in case you didn't understand any of the weird stuff that I've been saying for the past minute, I uploaded this project to GitHub. So if you want to take a closer look at my garbage code or even use it for your own project, it's right there. Feel free to do whatever you want with it. That's it. Bye.